haul today um, because today I'm going to be coming to you guys with a unwrapping. It's really not an unboxing because it's already outside of the box. But I do want to do an unwrapping with you guys. Before I go into that, I do want to go ahead and give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Voltor. Voltor is a small black owned skin and body care company that provides natural, safe, and effective products that are designed to improve the skin. I absolutely love this company. I can definitely vote from them in their skincare product. It is a great company. And one of the things that makes this company really stand out is that they also provide custom made soap option for those who want to purchase soap for a specific skin type. So if you have dry skin, if you have oily skin, if your skin is medium, a little bit of both, they have skincare products that are going to work for your skin. I will leave their link in the description box below. Their website is amazing. It is super easy to navigate. Not only that, but the company is also expanding and will soon be also be providing lotions as well. I definitely want to go ahead and give them a shout out. Thank you so much Volto for sponsoring this video and I will leave all of their information in the description box below for you guys if you want to check their website out. So without further ado, I did a video for you guys a couple of weeks ago on my Dooney and Bord uh, Florentine um, Bordeaux, is it Bordeaux? Yeah, Bordeaux satchel. It was, it was a Florentine satchel from Dooney and Bord that I had purchased from Belts. I purchased it from Belts and that actual that came in was completely scratched up and just not something that was wearable or to my liking and I had called the company I have a whole video on it kind of just sharing with you guys some of my frustrations about the process but uh, Belk was super great and they sent me a new satchel and I wanted to open that on camera to share with you guys my experience I have not opened it it is right here so this video today we're going to open up this package and hopefully let's just pray that it is way better than the former but before we go into the opening up this package, I do want to show you guys the bag of the week. This is my Dooney and Boar Buckley bag, and this is my bag for the week. I do a whole review on this bag that I will link in the description box below. Would highly recommend this bag if you are in the if you are on the market for a new uh, Florentine leather or real leather purse and you like drawstring bags you like um like medium tote size bags this bag is all of that plus some like i said i do a full review on this bag i will link it in the description box below for you guys it was on sale when i first posted the video i always try to um when i find good deals let my subscriber base know about those deals i always try to post them in the description box below and post my video before the deal ends that deal has since ended I believe it ended on February uh, 25th. However, the Dooney.com website and the I Love Dooney website frequently has sales. So this bag will likely go on sale again. Obviously, I can't guarantee that. But if it does, I will definitely drop a comment and let you guys know. So definitely like this video. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel uh, so that you can be notified of new content and new uploads. So yeah, this is my Berkeley bag and I absolutely love it. I have been wearing it. Um, I, My husband and I went shopping not too long ago and I took it with me there such a great bag it has the beautiful handles and it has the it also has a, a shoulder bag which is nice and narrow um, I love to wear it like this right on my um, wrist I love purses um, with handles and yeah I do a full review on this definitely check it out if you want to know why I chose this one and if you want to see more details about the bag but it's a super beautiful bag this is my bag of the week by Dooney and Bork Buckley. So guys, I'm not going to hold you any longer. Let's go ahead and get into the unwrapping on this bag. So this is how it came wrapped up inside of the dust bag. And the dust bag was wrapped up in bubble wrap. I'm really hoping that this bag is a lot better than the other bag. But again, I don't know. I'm, I'm opening it with you guys. So this is my first impression. So this is the bag, um, as you can probably note from my tone, I'm not super thrilled by it. Um, the scratches are a little less on this bag, um, they, it's definitely a little more newer, you can see some of the, um, 
they have like the, the wrappings on the the uh, hardware um it is newer than the other bag was the inside on it i'm not impressed <laughs> I will um, insert a screenshot of the other bag um, here. I'll try to do a side by side. Um, so yeah, if you there are a couple of scratches still on this bag, and it is if you can see there is some kind of like it's like a like a grayish dew on the front of the bag. You can even see it better this way. It's like a grayish dew there. All right here, it's just like gray. Some pretty harsh scratching right here. They say with quarantine, sometimes you can just rub out the scratches, but this doesn't look like it's something that I could rub out. It's this scratch right here. It's definitely not something that I can rub out. I would almost dare to say that the one that they sent me prior was probably um, a little less defective than this one. Um, here goes the inside of it. This is the name of the bag. Um, here goes the bottom of it. There, there is some like, uh, it's not as smooth. The, the Florentine leather is not as smooth on this side. Uh, say it is here on the, the back of it or on the front of it. Um, I'm not loving this bag. Um, at this point, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this one back as well. Um, like I said, because I think that the other one was probably a better option than this one. Not only that, I paid more for this bag than what they are going for right now on the Dooney, I Love Dooney website. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out their products back and I'm going to just order straight from the I Love Dooney website. Um, I'm, it's, you know, I'm a little disappointed, um, obviously, because this is the second go round and again, this is worse off than the first one. Um, you can see the dew, the gray dew, and you guys let me know, those of you who have ordered Florentine leather from Dooney and Bork before. Please comment in the description below if there is a way to treat the gray. It looks almost like the leather just needs to be treated. It looks, it looks just really gray. It looks as if it's like dry. Um, so y'all let me know if that's normal for you. I mean, when I consider my fuck me bag, you guys can see the leather is shiny. This is also Florentine leather. The leather is shiny, it's vibrant, it's alive. You don't see any hints of gray anywhere. It just looks a lot more fresh and new and beautiful. Um, whereas this one looks like it may have been seated maybe in the warehouse for a couple of years. It just needs to be treated. And if that's the case, I would love to know for future references. Although I still don't think I would keep this one, even if I know how to get rid of the kind of like the gray, the grayish color there. I wouldn't keep this one even though because as you can see, uh, there is a lot of pebbling on the sides. This is supposed to be Florentine leather. It's supposed to be smooth all over. And although it's not terribly, terribly pebbled, it is pebbled, you know. I feel like if it wasn't so much graying on the, the, the bag, if it didn't look so gray, and if there wasn't this major scratch right here in the front of the bag it I would if I could treat the gray the pebbling wouldn't wouldn't matter as much to me but because of this huge like literal like it looks like it was it's just scraped practically scraped off it's not this is not a scratch you can rub out this is like embedded into the leather this is uh this is a deep scratch here um and then there's also deep scratches on the bottom um, so because of that, along with the grayish tone, along with the pebbling, that's just too many things that are wrong with this bag. So, unfortunately, this was a fail review. Um, 
another fill from um, Belk. I, I'm really disappointed since this is the second um, satchel that I've ordered from them that has just been completely unacceptable and completely damaged. I likely would not order any more Dooney and Bork purchases from them. I just keep hearing really bad experiences that people have had from ordering from them and these bags are just too expensive to have to deal with the hassle sending them back damaged. I mean the first time, okay I get it, but the second time then I mean, you hear so many other people having the bad experiences, it's just like you know that's too much. So this will unfortunately be going back and probably right after I do this video I'm going to hop on the I Love Dooney website and I'm going to order me one directly from there which I really believe will come out a lot better looking than this because I've not had any issues with any of my Florentine leather or any of my bags really from I Love Dooney or Dooney.com. So unfortunately this is going back. I have to run through the hassle of sending this back again but it's worth, it, it's worth sending it back and getting a product that I really love and that I'm going to appreciate opposed to getting something that is just not up to par. So guys, that was my unwrapping from Belk. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that purchase did not work out for me. This bag actually came out worse than the other bag. But I do appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this video. I will be posting a couple more videos. The next video I want to do is how to get optimal use out of my, out of my Russell tote bag so I will be posting that video here soon hopefully I'll be um, posting that here soon so definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I would love to have you a part of the family a new subscriber I want to say hey hey girl hey uh, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel um, I really appreciate it and definitely leave a comment down below if you have one um, if you have any words of wisdom or advice pertaining to the discoloration on this bag, the grave discoloration, definitely leave a comment down below. I would definitely benefit from it and I'm sure other people in this community will benefit from it. And once again, I want to give a shout out to Voltour for sponsoring this video. Their link will be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!